Hello, Bread of Life friends. It is good to be together again, uh, although we are all separated and still, but it is still very good to be gathered together here in this virtual space online. This week, I want to invite you, if you haven't already made a video of yourself greeting um, us here at Bread of Life, please do that. Um, you know, you can say, hey, how are you? You can say, happy Easter. You can say, God's peace be with you. Just some greeting for one another. Um, and then send that to me. Uh, and there's lots of different ways you can get it to me. You can send it by email. You can put it on Facebook. You can ask a friend, how do I do this? Um, but get it to me. And then what I'll do is make one long video uh, so that we can share it on Easter Sunday next week already. Um, we'll share that video during our Easter Sunday gathering time. Uh, I likely will plan to have um, that show up on our Facebook and our YouTube account starting at around 10 o'clock on Sunday morning and then repeat it as much as I need to um, until 10.30 when we begin worship. So I want to uh, continue or encourage you to continue to provide your financial support to Bread of Life. Um, as we've talked about in the last couple of weeks, even though we're separated, we still have costs for our building. We still have costs for our staff and different things that we have to take care of paying. And so if you, um, if you send a check regularly to, or bring a check regularly to worship in person, please send that to Bread of Life. And the address will be available in the comments uh, for this um, video. And again, uh, I've been saying this all along, but I want to repeat it uh, to say, please reach out to one another. Take a few moments to just check in. You can VP, call somebody, send a text message. Maybe you use a, a video app, something like Marco Polo. Uh, perhaps you're on Facebook. You can send a note, a message, write a card, send that to somebody and check in with one another. It's really important. It's really important. We've been staying at home, trying to slow down the spread of the coronavirus so that we don't all get sick all at one time. And um, as we do that, it can feel very lonely. So please, please take time to connect with one another. Uh, this today is Palm Sunday. This is the day when we remember Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Uh, we will be doing some uh, different things in worship today uh, compared to the other weeks, um, just as we would if we were here in person. And one of those things um, is to wave a palm branch. Uh, so maybe you have some greens in your home, maybe you don't and you just want to make a path on the floor. Uh, Jesus rode on a donkey and people threw their coats and their cloaks on the ground. So that's a possibility. If you don't have something green to wave around, you can put your coats on the floor and just have a parade. Um, so we will be doing that today in worship together. You might be marching around your living room all by yourself, but you're not alone because we're all going to be doing that. And then at the end of this week, on Friday, we will have um, Bread of Life's normal Lenten, um, no, Holy Week services, uh, where we celebrate Monday, Thursday into Good Friday. And it will look very different this year, but it will still be similar in the um, mood. And so I encourage you to save time on Friday, 6 p.m. Plan to be involved in worship on Friday evening. Uh, 
uh, that will that worship service will also be online. We won't be in person yet for that. So um, again, it'll be online, just like this worship service. Just a reminder uh, that both Dorothy and I are available um, through email or text message or BP if you want to check in. If you just need to talk to somebody and call and say, I'm going crazy here at home all by myself. What are you doing? Um, call. Send an email. Let us know. We're available. And then just a reminder that we will not be celebrating communion until we are together again in person. Um, this it would be like a fast. It's like going without something that's really important to us. It is important. Communion is. And through it, we experience God's grace. And at the same time, we experience God's grace in many other ways. Maybe it's through something a friend has shared with you. Maybe in that moment you experience God's grace. Maybe it's something you noticed when you were out on a walk. It just hit you. Touched your heart. God's grace shows up for us every day, many times through the day. And so as we wait to have communion until we are together in person again, I wonder how you notice God's grace with you and for you every day. When you notice those things, please take a moment to share with someone. Send me a note. Hey, Pastor, this is what I noticed. This is how God showed up for me today. Maybe your story will show up in worship soon. So please let me know. <laughs> 